Hi everybody. Um, it's probably the first time you've actually seen me. You've heard my voice a lot. Um, yes, that looked kind of rough. I have bumps and my hair's bedhead. But um, I would like to tell you some things about me. I am 23. Um, I still live with my parents. We live in Ohio. We have traveled a lot in my lifetime. Um, when I was 11, we first traveled with my dad's job to Kentucky, then we went to Mississippi, and then we went back home to Virginia, and then we moved to Ohio, and then we moved back to Virginia, and then we moved here last year in May, May 7th, and um, I've made a lot of new friends, but the awesome thing is we moved right back to where we lived the first time. So we have the same church, and we have all our church family and people that we knew before, so it really helps. Um, it's my old glorious pants. Um, and then we have met all kinds of new people. Everybody's had kids, so we have like a lot of kids. And um, my pastor's family, they have six kids of their own, and then they have all kinds of grandkids. So, like, the age from three to, I think Trayvon is 14, and we have all kinds of kids, so, and they cling to me. I love children. Um, no, I am not married. I'm not dating, but I would like to, but I'm just waiting on God to send me his perfect match. Um, it's very hard to date when you're trying to live for God and have expectations for yourself and limit yourself to certain things. Um, I have standards, so I don't date, just date people. They have to mean a lot to me for me to be a boyfriend, to be my boyfriend. Um, I have a lot of close friends. You've probably seen Cassidy in the past, a few videos. Um, I'm sorry for the videos being out of order. The last time I tried uploading videos, they weren't doing very good because the signal was weird where I was, and the videos aren't exactly in order, so you might have to backtrack to find ones and twos that go together. Um, but Cassidy's my best friend, lives here, and I have my brother, Hunter, who is 21. His girlfriend is Erica, which you have probably seen. Um, she is my second best friend here. I've known her since last November when her brother invited us to his birthday party and I got to know her. And she's now dating my brother for like, I think six to eight months. I'm not sure how long they've been dating. Um, she's awesome, I love her to death. And then I have my church, the New Hope Church of God in Alliance, Ohio. Um, I interact a lot in our church. It's a Pentecostal church, but um, we don't care what you wear, as long as it's decent. Um, we have all kinds of different ages. We have big groups of different people. There's not just old people, not just kids. We have some teenagers. We have a very small group of people my age, though. Um, so if you're looking for a church and you live in Alliance, come my way. My name's Leslie. Um, my brother's name is Hunter, but, um, I do our food giveaway. I work in that every month when we have it. It's the, the last Sunday of the month, I think. And then we have youth group. It's going to start sparking up again. It's called Crossfire. It's for our teenagers. And, um, I help with games. I help with worship. I love to sing, um, I just started singing in our new worship team. Our pastor is going to be moving next summer to uh, Florida. Tampa Bay, I think, is where they're moving. Um, and we're going to stay here, and our assistant pastor is going to take over when our pastor is not here to visit. And uh, his name is Brandon Wilbur. He's awesome. Our pastor is uh, Pastor Don Nicely. He used to be a very famous trapper when he was younger. He's a great pastor. He tells you what you need to hear and doesn't sugarcoat things, so it's really nice. 
Um, but I'm doing, we started a new worship team. And I am in it. I'm one of the backup singers. I love it. I want to be a worship leader, like a full worship leader, like the first woman vocalist someday. I think it's going to happen. Um, but that's all in God's hands. I was told when I was probably 13, I think I was 13, I was in middle school, like eighth grade, that um, I was going to be a worship leader. God told me that at youth camp. One day, um, the pastor that was at camp that summer told the the kids and us, the, the kids, that um, if you know the talent and the purpose God has for you right now for your life, um, come up and say it on the microphone and tell everybody. Well, God told me, go, you know. And I'm like, I don't know. I have no idea. He's like, I'll tell you when you get the mic. And I'm like, okay. Well, I got up there and I got the mic handed to me and I was like, I don't know what to say. And then as soon as the mic got in my hand, I heard myself say, God wants me to be a worship leader. And I was like, really? Wow, that's interesting. So it's awesome. And I love singing. I sing all the time. And God always shows me how I can touch people with my voice. And the funny thing is, before that happened at youth camp, I always sang, but I didn't know why I like to sing. And it helps now that I know that he wants me to be a worship leader. And he's going to use me. Well, when I was a kid, I um, would always sing. For I didn't live for God my whole life. I mean, my parents didn't live for God. They sent us to church with my grandparents. And all I knew was that God created us. Jesus died on the cross. And then I loved God and I loved Jesus. And it was awesome. But didn't really understand it. So I didn't really live, live for God. But um, when I was 13, I went to youth camp. We moved here. My mom and my brother and I started going to church. And um, and I received this Holy Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit, and the speaking evidence, speaking in tongues, which we believe that. It's the, the way that your soul and God speak, communicate. It sounds kind of funny when you hear it, but that's how I understand it. Um, and before that, I couldn't sing. My cousin would just tell me, Leslie, please stop singing. Please stop singing. You're hurting my ears when we were kids. And I'm like, but I love it. I love to sing. She says, it doesn't matter. You suck. And I'm like, that's just not nice. And, um, so I still sang anyway because I enjoyed it. I didn't know why. I just loved it. And then I went to youth camp and whenever I gave my life to God, that moment, everybody was singing and I just started singing and my voice was like, it was awesome and I was like hey never heard that before it's kind of cool well ever since then people look at me they watch me when I sing they smile and I'm just like I don't take credit for it I say God is the creator and he has made me the way I am and if they like my gift thank God for it because they made he made it so now I'm singing in my worship team and it's really fun um we have in my church a little kids group that are like from potty trained age till I think Allie is now, she's turning 10. She moves up when school starts up to the teens. And then you have um, 10 years old all the way till I think 16, I think. And then they can move out. There's a horrible scratch right there on my neck. I think I was just scratching myself when I was sleeping. But, um, and they move and they stay up there until they're 16 and they move out into the congregation with the adults. Excuse me. Um, what was lighting really bad? But, um, yeah, so, and our church, we start off with, we get there really early and we start church at 1045, but I usually get there at 10 o'clock. And... We start off and we just fellowship and we hang out. We goof off. We talk and talk to people and we hang out just like we haven't seen them all week, which we haven't. So it's awesome. And they're we're like a big family. And then when we start church, we start with somebody blows the horn, the horn for worship. It's like a big old ram horn. It looks like and it's hollowed out. And then we worship for probably five songs, however long. 
the spirit shows us how long to go, how much we feel like going, and then pastor intercepts, and he starts teaching, and we teach, and it lasts probably until 12 o'clock, 12.30, I think 12, and after that, we all fellowship again, and people go their own ways, and we usually hang out with each other, so sorry for my voice, it's kind of scratchy and weird, but it, I think um, it's my allergies. But yeah, um, my best friend Cassidy, which I spoke about earlier, she is 15. I think she'll be 16 soon. Um, it's weird hearing people say, like, how do you have a best friend that's so much younger than you? But she is younger. I'm 23, she's 15, but she acts like she's mature. Um, she still acts like she's 16, 15 sometimes, because she is. But she's high energy, she's fun. What you'll notice, I do not act like I'm 23, apparently. 